Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. So, not long ago, I got to tease a clip from the guys at Lumion that shows just a very tiny glimpse of what is coming over to Lumion. Lumion 10 is officially released and there are a couple of features that I kind of like. One thing to note is that for this release, they focused a little bit more on things that has to do with realism, things being realistic and high quality. There is no much talk about performance, but then let's just get right into it. So for the very first one is displacement. So I'm kind of a huge fan for anything that has to do with displacement. And the guys at Lumion have gone ahead to add materials that now support displacement. So if you're getting a copy of Lumion, you will be having about 167 brand new displacement materials that you can work with. These displacement materials are mostly from Polygon. So the guy at Polygon or the guys at Polygon have gone ahead to actually create materials that support this displacement. And I think for some reason, for the other materials that exist in Lumion, now you have the ability to actually work with displacement in them. And speaking about materials, Lumion now comes with a brand new set of 134 new materials. And all of these materials have displacement baked into them. And these materials are 12 new soil materials, which include sand for the beach and some other stuff. There is also 9 rock materials, 10 exterior materials that has to do with metal, concrete, stone, and three indoor tile materials and all of these materials according to the guys from lumion they do support weathering soft edges and foliage but one thing which i kind of noticed is the materials don't really have so much of a tiling when it gets to do with edges especially if you're working with things that don't really have uvs in them so there is a trick around that that has to do with you weathering either the edges or using some sort of plant or you know some artifacts to just cover it up with the 134 inclusive brand new materials in Lumion, this is now totaling to about 1,229 materials that you can work with in Lumion. Now, we cannot just talk about materials without talking about objects. So the guys at Lumion have also, you know, added high quality, realistic 364 new objects. And these objects range from fine detailed nature plants and five hdr skies there is also 180 interior objects that you can work with 81 exterior objects which includes building lights and so on there is also 11 vehicles that you can also go ahead and play and for the guys that will be wondering about animated people yes of course there is also 30 brand new high quality animated people that include men women elderly people and also people on bike with this brand new 364 new objects that is existing in lumion 10 this is now totaling to a number of 5758 you know contents that you can get so it's quite obvious that you can easily now get very realistic rendering i mean these guys are going for hyper realism now and speaking about things that are hyper realistic they've also added a fine nature detail feature although this feature is pro only but the thing with this is that you can now see upraised version of your models especially for the brand new models that have been added and i think the models that actually support this is the 62 brand new fine detail nature object so you can get up close and see the displacement on the backs of this object you can literally see wind moving these things and this on the other hand is going to be extremely extremely heavy of course the final rendering is going to be super realistic but at the same time with these fine nature details in your scene is definitely going to slow down both render time and performance so what i would suggest is if you want to work with these you can bring them up close and for the ones that your camera would not see you can put the low poly versions at the back you know and just get something very moderate now moving on to something else that actually makes me smile so this is something that has already existed in twin motion before and for some reason i think it is also very cool to actually see coming over to lumion which is the height map and this time they are not just bringing in height map from the open street but you can now get hype map with real context renders directly in your scene and this doesn't just come with the context alone but it also comes with landscape so with this feature inclusive it is going to be really really easy for you to replicate real world scenes 
and also real world landscape when you're making your architectural visualization directly in Lumion. So still speaking about landscape, it's now extremely easy to paint you know, placements directly in Lumion. This is also something else that reminds me of Twin Motion. And now you can go into Lumion with some selected objects and you can go ahead and simply paint with them. So you can use the paint placement brush to sweep through and, you know, create thousands of trees around your landscape. And at the same time, you can also choose to delete them. This feature by default is not available for all objects, but it is very more suitable for, you know, painting things like shrubs, plants and all that stuff. So now if you want to make things like landscape, I guess this is something that you would love to work with. Now, still speaking about landscape, there is a brand new tool which you can now find in the utility section of Twinmotion and it is called the Landscape Cutter. So with the Landscape Cutter, most times once you're working with stuff like this or maybe you're creating landscape, it is quite easy for you to sculpt in your landscape into your building or probably just get your building going past through it. So with the Landscape Cutter, you can now easily cut the landscape to size and reveal the amazing masterpiece that you have beneath it. So let's talk about some other new interesting features that, you know, a couple of people will call novelty while some other people will find them as a must that should exist in any 3D app. So I'm talking about nothing more than the photo matching. So there is now a brand new photo matching feature that exists in Lumion 10. And to me, this is really, really impressive, especially if you're creating something with a physical photo, now you can choose and dictate to Lumion where each axis is and it will automatically put your image or your model directly there. And this is some very interesting things to see. I think one of the times that we got to see something like this was in 3D Studio Max, but now it is existing directly here in Lumion. So if you get to do a render like this, you can now take it over to Photoshop and do some very fine composition. Other things that are quite nice that I think makes a lot of sense is the fact that you can now control your materials to a given point. So there is now a material customizing control, something like that. But uh, how this works is this, that you work with a material and once you're done working with this material and you want to save it for later use, you can now go ahead and save it. So if you're working on a different project, you can reference that material and get it out. There's also something else that is really really cool to see and that has to do with the real sky at night and also the aurora borealis feature although this borealis feature is actually for pro users alone the fact that you can go in there and just tweak this thing animate it make it look so cool and apply this to your render is really cool i think these features coming to lumion 10 are very very nice i am just quite concerned about the render time and the fact that they didn't really talk about performance another thing to note is if you're going to work with lumion or you want to use lumion 10 you'd better have a beefy computer to work with this tool. I mean, all of these things coming over to Lumion is definitely going to be quite heavy. So remember one of those times I talked about the Nvidia Ganga and we did talk about it and how you can customize this thing and how you can play with it. And automatically it is going to calculate things with the neural network that exists and give you some sort of Picasso style painting or you know you can get some sort of a uh, Kadinsky kind of painting or Monet kind of painting yes so now in Lumion you can literally get that same effect so all you have to do is just make sure that you apply that effect and you go ahead and render so once you render this Lumion is going to render two different images so there's going to be one that has the AI calculated you know, uh, image that makes use of neural network, although this is still an experimental feature. And the other one is going to give you the same quality that you rendered out of Lumion. And before you get to render stuff, of course, you need to look at animation. So there is also a new improvement that has to do with the animation, but it is not that much. So the thing that is coming over to the animation has to do with, you know, uh, you being able to do some easing and ease out feature, you know, instead of just working in a linear form, 
you can now have ease in and ease out and i'm just hoping that sooner than later they're going to implement some sort of graph which you can use to control how your camera actually moves now these are the features that i kind of like that are coming to lumion 10 and if you want to get lumion you can definitely get lumion by going over to the link which is going to be in the description and you can also check out the release note link is also going to be in the description as well and if you want to get a free version of Lumion, there is an available, I guess, 14 days version that you can get and you can go ahead and play with it and see what you can do with that. And that's about it. Some other novelty features that you would actually, you know, kind of like and maybe want to play with is there is also an improved DWG import function that is there and at the same time if you want to preview your renders directly on your viewport i mean before you start committing to rendering of course you can now click and then you'll be able to preview and see what the final result is going to look like to me that is also something really cool because for now you don't necessarily need to second guess things like shadows reflections trying to make sure that everything all your lightings and all that stuff so this is it and i would like to know what you guys think about the new version of lumion that is coming i'm very very optimistic about twin motion coming out and once we see a new version of twin motion we're going to do a side by side comparison and if you want to see that go ahead and give that a like and also if you want to check out other videos that we've done head over to the channel and you'll probably find one or two videos that would make your life easy if you want to find free contents that you'll be able to work with there is a link in the description that will take you over to the playlist and you'll be able to find those things now tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section and if you like this video you know what to do go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to turn on the notification and if you're new here it's going to be amazing if you can hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so you don't miss the next video or the next upload and until i see you guys again with the tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace